are live from the firehouse right now in New York City. And I have it on good authority that the Ecto-1 will be here any minute. So I thought it'd be fun to just broadcast for a second to you folks and let you know that I'm here and that stuff is about to go down. Yes, lots of stuff is about to go down. As this is the premiere week of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire and we're going to see lots of action from this firehouse this week. Again, I have it on some good authority that that is what is going to be happening. So I thought, as I said before, that it would be good to come down here and let you guys see. As you can see, they've hung the sign now in the appropriate position, ready to go. And um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are excited. Good to see you. If you have any questions or anything you want to say, please throw it in the chat. Um, and um, I don't know if those of you that were not here earlier know that the Ecto-1 is apparently going to arrive in a second. So hopefully I get to share that with you. Depending on how the traffic is going, again, I hear it on good authority. Well, more than good authority, I know <laughs> the Ecto-1 is going to be here. Um, but when exactly in the next few minutes it will turn up, we will see. It's supposed to be in one minute. But any of you that have driven in New York City will know that's not how navigating here really goes. <laughs> it goes in a slightly different way. And again, as I said earlier, the, uh, the sign has been placed up. If you're keeping a track on social media at the moment and looking at what's going on here in Tribeca, you'll know that they rehung the sign a few days ago. It was previously up here in the window, and now they've placed it in the position that it is in Ghostbusters um, because stuff is going to be happening. I know that stuff's going to be happening on Thursday. In fact, I'm going to be here most of the day on Thursday. The Ecto-1 will be here on Thursday. And um, you may not or may not know this yet, but I'm also going to be coming to the premiere and I'll be able to give you some coverage of the premiere of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire here in New York on Thursday. Now, see, the, the shot I'm kind of trying to figure out right now is <laughs> great if the Ecto came around the corner right now, which it's supposed to do, but who knows? Who knows how long it will take Nick to get the car here? And hopefully you've um, seen some of my previous videos uh, featuring the Ecto. Um, and so, you know, the beautiful replica that Nick has, the Ecto-1 NJ, um, and Ecto-Tech, who um, is the, uh, the mechanic and engineer for that car, uh, are both gonna be here and um, yeah, some stuff's gonna go down this evening. And this, by the way, is, is one of only a few tours that will be taking place with the Ecto over the next few days of this week in New York City for the premiere. So, questions. Does anyone have, want to have any questions about what's gonna be going down in New York? If you do, please drop them in chat and let me know. And also, this whole live thing, certainly live streaming vertically on YouTube in the street, a new thing for me. I have to say, it's quite strange watching people walk past me and thinking, I wonder if they think I'm completely crazy. Which, the guy just walking past now probably, probably does think that, yes. <laughs> so, any questions that you might have about the premiere happening in New York this week, about the firehouse, about the stuff that we'd be featuring on our channel, drop a question in chat and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Let me spin the camera around so you can get a better look at the firehouse. Here it is in all its glory. I'm going to go a bit closer and join the people that gather here regularly to take photos. Um, one of the amazing things about this location is any time of the day that you turn up here, people are here taking photographs of themselves, of the firehouse, literally any time, any time of day. Um, I was here filming the trailer for um, Ghost Tours with Nick, and that was late at night. <laughs> there were a, was a big crowd of people at that time. So, like I said, any moment that you get here, you'd be guaranteed to find there are people doing exactly what they're doing now, which is taking pictures. 
One of the other things that's really cool about the firehouse, I don't know if you know this, but um, it, it's a bit of a, a kind of a mecca or a place for, for homage by, uh, by Ghostbusters fans. I mean, that's not a surprise. But when this door is open, on the inside, what you see in there is a whole wall covered with all the patches um, from all the different Ghostbusting groups across the world. Um, and it's a super cool thing to see how many people have turned up here, how many people have handed their patch over to the, to the crew here at the firehouse, and how it's been displayed beautifully on the wall as a kind of landmark of every single group that's come here to say, I've, I've been here, I've touched the firehouse. <laughs> this is a place that they want to be. Something else that's really cool, obviously we've got the original Ghostbusters 1 sign, but if you follow me, I mean, you don't have much choice on video, but if you follow me, you'll find another little interesting sign up here. So over here is actually the sign. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it used to be the sign from Ghostbusters 2 up there. That's actually the older sign that they had up. So I'm wrong, but on the inside where all those patches are, you can see the sign from Ghostbusters 2. Uh, okay. Helico Muller, I hope I've said that right. I'm sorry if I haven't. It says I'm super hyped for Frozen Empire and happy for you to experience all of that in New York um, at the premiere. Yeah, me too, man. Th thank you. Thank you. I'm excited as well. Uh, greetings from Germany. Germany, beautiful country. Um, um, and hello from the German Spectral Radio Podcast crew. Hello to you guys. Hello to you guys. Thank you for dropping in and checking out my live stream. Okay, we're going to spin down the other side here. Something else that's interesting, if you watch some of my behind the scenes videos that I've been sharing, I'm just going to spin the camera around. This tower here is the one in the trailer that lightning hits when the sky's kind of all covered over. Um, and so I'm going to get out of the way of these folks taking photos. <laughs> I don't want to be in their pictures and spoil their photos with some random British guy in them. Um, but this building behind me is the building uh, that you see lightning striking the top of. And when we were here for the filming of Frozen Empire, standing around on the street watching the crew doing their thing, one of the things that was flying around here above us in the sky was a helicopter getting lots of reference footage uh, for all of the stuff that you've seen in the trailer now. Um, so the shots of um, the car in the street. And again, I'm not sure that they, by the way, my hair's looking a real mess because it is so windy in New York City today. <laughs> not on my way here, my, my hat flew off and my hair went crazy. And um, I had a very New York experience. The guy's like, hell of a wind. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It is a wind. And we had a bit of a laugh and then he went into the subway and I carried on walking it and tightened my cap, I should say, by the way. Um, but yeah, there was a helicopter filming here for reference footage. I believe it was mainly reference because they wouldn't really have wanted all the cars and people gathering but so they could get all the shots and angles that they needed in order to enable them to do what they needed to do um, in post-production and with the video uh, work that they needed to do in the, in the movie. Uh, the other thing, of course, that was super cool when we were here for filming was the actual stunt Hector was here. And we got to meet the stunt crew who were, who were super awesome. And if you haven't seen that video, um, you should check out one of the other videos on the channel. There's a whole behind the scenes video where we uh, get to meet the stunt uh, crew uh, and where we get to see some of the uh, some of the goings on, it was pretty awesome. Again, I'm gonna get out of the way of these folks doing their thing. Like I said, always a crowd here, always people uh, coming and going to take photos. It, it's it's pretty amazing um, that at any time of day there are always people here. Let me just spin this spin this around here. So yeah, you see, look, always people doing their thing. Ollie Anderson says, your videos are so good. The detail you go into is fantastic. Do you live in the States? I do, <laughs> I do. So th first of all, thank you, Ollie. That's super kind of you. Yeah, um, my family and I live here in the United States. We've been here um, for almost six years now. Um, so, and I work in the city. So I literally just jumped on the subway and was able to get here pretty, pretty quickly uh, to start this live. And thank you, I really appreciate your comments about the videos. I try, I try my best to make them engaging and fun and interesting. So hopefully that continues. <laughs> and I appreciate all of you guys that watch them. It's a big deal to me. It really super matters. So 
thank you. Uh, thank you so very, very much. Now, I did promise you the Ecto, and I do promise that it's coming. I just don't know exactly when it's going to turn up. But I tell you, before it turns up, we will hear the engine. <laughs> we will hear the engine loudly coming around the corner, because it is not a quiet car. In fact, I was doing some editing of the behind the scenes of us making the trailer for Ghost Tours. Um, and, and if you haven't seen the trailer for Ghost Tours, again, it's on our channel. Um, it really kind of tries to get into that vibe of, um, you know, what it's like to be a Ghostbuster and what it might like be like to be here on the streets uh, Ghostbusting. Um, so we, we, we shot that here. Um, and um, I was doing some of the behind stuff, the behind the scenes filming of that. Um, and uh, I was trying to edit me speaking and the Ecto's engine was running and it was so loud <laughs> that I couldn't even use the shot because it was so ridiculously noisy. Um, Greg was reversing it just over here, uh, back into the, oh, somebody's playing the Ghostbuster music for us. Let's go folks. Yeah, they've stopped it now. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to walk away because that's copyrighted. I can't have that on my channel. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be in trouble with that. Um, the other thing, it's a beautiful time in New York, daylight savings obviously uh, has has hit in, but um, I'm not sure I can do much with the shot here to kind of let you see the sky properly, but um, it's a beautiful sunset here. It's kind of a bit bleached out right now, um, but it's a beautiful evening. Oh, and now you will have noticed they have lit up the Ghostbusters sign. That is super cool. So I'm gonna head a bit closer again so you can get a closer look at it. Again, while we wait for the Ecto to turn up, if you've got any questions for me about anything that's gonna be going on in New York City over the next few days, please drop them into chat. If you've got any questions about the Ecto, about us driving it around New York City, if you've got any questions about behind the scenes, please drop them in chat. I'm very happy to answer them for you. Jack Campbell says, um, loved watching the video with McKenna in the Ecto and all the behind the scenes content. Thank you. Meeting McKenna was so awesome. And I hope you could tell from the video, um, I, I didn't film everything because I always feel like, especially people that are famous and get cameras poked in their faces all the time, you don't want to film everything and all of the stuff. We filmed really just a few bits and then the bit when we went out to film the car and she knew she was being filmed. Um, but we got to chat with her very briefly earlier in the evening. Um, she's just a lovely, lovely person. <laughs> really lovely person. And actually, I was watching Ghostbusters Afterlife. Of course I was, last night. And it was even more impressive to me how incredible an act actor she is because of how different Phoebe as a character is uh, from McKenna as a person. She's just incredibly bubbly, fun to be around, enthusiastic just fantastic so um yeah her her kind of character of phoebe is you know real acting she's she's really uh, bringing that and it was really fun having met her to then watch the movie again and go oh yeah this is this is some good work that she's doing here to kind of bring the character um ham shark fishing says i'm excited for the release of frozen empire me too yeah i'm super excited um I'm very excited that I get to go to the premiere <laughs> in just a few days. And um, I'm not so excited about the pressure and strain it's going to be to not share any spoilers with anyone. And I promise I'm not going to, because I don't want to spoil the movie for anyone. I want you guys to see it and experience it like I do. Um, but yeah, <laughs> very, very excited. Um, Ollie Anderson says, uh, the sign is so cool. You're living my absolute dream right now, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I have to say, it, is, it should be more surreal to me being here, having been here quite a few times. The most surreal moment ever being here at the firehouse was when, um, well, there were two times. The first time was when I drove the Ecto through the city with Nick, and then we ended up here. I was dressed as a Ghostbuster, and I, said in, I say in the video that um, I was, it was lit like my 10-year-old self would have gone crazy. <laughs> I could have, if, if, if uh, I could have seen myself, I would have had no, like I wouldn't have known what to do with the fact that I'm in the Ecto in New York City, dressed as a Ghostbuster, absolutely crazy. And then the second time that was the most cool time was when we came here again, but at that time to film um, the, the trailer for, for Ghost Tours of New York. And when we came here to do that filming, oh my gosh, I was again like, I'm filming a Ghostbusters trailer at 
the firehouse with an ecto. How did this happen? <laughs> How is this happening? Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, get to a couple other questions. Can you mention my channel? No, Webster, I'm mentioning your channel. Go check out Noah's channel. I don't know what it is, but I'm mentioning it. Good for you, Noah. I like a bit of, um, oh, what does it say? It's called Noah Webster. There we go. Yeah, hopefully I mentioned it properly, uh, Noah. If I didn't, I apologize. But I'm sure from Noah's username, you can find his channel. So, so there you go. Um, what is going on in New York? Ethan Worrell asks. Um, so what's going on, Ethan, is that um, this is the beginning of the premiere week for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. So from today through the next few days, there's going to be stuff going. I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Yeah, um, I, we're going to be here in the city doing various different things. Um, and we're going to be um, certainly here tonight with the Ecto. Whenever Nick turns up with it, it's going to be here in a sec. Um, I've been saying that for the last 10 minutes. So let's see. 14 minutes. It's 14 minutes late right now. <laughs> um, but the Ecto is going to be here. Um, and then over the next few days, there's other activities going on in the city. So um, on Thursday, the car is going to be here at the firehouse. Um, and that's all I can say for now. Some stuff will be happening the day of the premiere. And then, of course, in the evening on Thursdays, the premiere itself. And there's a few other things. Um, there's the Yes Have Some podcast party that's going to be happening um, before that. A plug to Yes Have Some. Great podcast. Fantastic um, insights into the movie. Those guys are super well connected with Ghost Corpse. So check those guys out. Totally should, uh, should check their, their channel out there. They're super cool. In fact, they have a behind the scenes video. If you haven't seen it, of them making slime on the set of Ghostbusters, <laughs> which, which is like a dream come true to me. So I think uh, there was only two people that I know of that got to do that. That was Adam Savage. I don't know if you follow Adam uh, and his channel Tested. And he's do doing a lot of Ghostbusters content. But also, um, yes, have some. Only those two that I know of. So it's pretty awesome. And you see them put their slime into the buckets that get used in production. So they made slime and it got used in the movie. Right. Questions. Questions. Let's see. Um, I better get my proton pack in PKE meter ready. You better. Yes. Yes. That's from Hanshog Fishing. Um, and hello from England. Hello. Hello from an English person in America. <laughs> Hi there. Um, just thought you should have a new sub. Thank you. We got one. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much, uh, Evil Bear One. I appreciate anyone that wants to sub that isn't already subscribing to my channel. Absolutely, would love you to sub. Um, and if you don't know anything about the channel and you've just stumbled across this live stream, uh, we do all sorts of content. I'm a massive geek. I love Ghostbusters. I love Back to the Future. I love all those kind of cool franchises. And I do behind the scenes and make props and create in-person experiences of some of those things. And a video will be coming out soon of the in-person experience we created for Ghostbusters where people could actually catch their own ghost. We had hundreds of people turn up. We had the Ecto, <laughs> we had everything. And that'll be coming out in a couple of weeks. All right, a couple of other questions here or comments here. Uh, Brandon Governor, I'm hyped for Frozen Empire. Totally, totally uh, hyped as well. Um, Oh, Hanshock Fisher says, also from England. Great, more people from England, the better. Good for you folks. Um, yes, it is cool, Evil Bear, that uh, people get to see this iconic location. It's amazing, really. I have to give a lot of credit to New York City and to the fire department that they really, really lean into the fact that this is an iconic building. So people are always welcome to come here. People are always welcome to take photos. And I think I mentioned earlier, well, I did mention earlier, but maybe for those of you that weren't on the feed at the time, they have a wall inside, which we can't see right now because the door is shut, but it's often open during the day. And you can see all the patches from all the franchises, Ghostbusters franchises across the world that have come and visited and paid homage to Ghostbusters here. And the, the, the guys at the firehouse are totally up for it and totally into it and um, very, very welcoming. Unless there's a call and then you have to get out of the way. <laughs> right, let's see what else. Um, Yes, yes, Sophie, this is the Ghostbusters place. This is literally it. This is literally it right here. Um, Evil Bear says, I've been trying to make a Lego stop motion of Ghostbusters on my Lego page. That's awesome. Uh, it's been cool using the sounds. That's great. That sounds fun, man. You'll have to let us all know when that's live. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, hopefully, don't run into Garaka. I hope we don't run into Garaka. If you've seen the trailer, Garaka bursts through that door in a rather um, unpleasant fashion. So I'm hoping not to see Garaka tonight at all. Um, 
No one asks, do I have a proton pack? I do have a proton pack. I actually have two proton packs because <laughs> that's how geeky I am. One is finished and the other one I'm making and building right now. Uh, so um, that's being created and again will probably be um, part of another video uh, to come up soon. Um, Evil Besses, I love how you're outside uh, the raised bookstore in the Ecto game. <laughs> yeah, in the game, it's right, it's right over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So, um, so you're aware some of the stuff that's going on behind me now is to do with some of the filming that's going on this evening. Again, I can't say too much about it, um, but the actor's here for a very specific job this evening. Um, Jacob's like, are they still filming? Uh, they're not filming Ghostbusters. <laughs> I think they're finished for, for today. Um, but some other filming may be going on this evening. Um, Ethan's like, I love your videos. Thank you so much, Ethan. I really appreciate that. Uh, kind of want to meet them, uh, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, that would be great to meet them. Um, <laughs> you stay and fight for this place. Hopefully not completely on my own. I don't want to fight for this place by myself. Hopefully some other Ghostbusters will turn up uh, like Bill Murray does secretly, uh, suddenly in the background. Uh, not in the background, but he suddenly turns up. Yeah. Uh, the Soul Mind. Hey there. Hey there, Soul Mind. How are you? No, affiliated. Go check out Nerd Affiliate, people. If you haven't checked them out, awesome channel, super awesome. Uh, ch ch check out, check out the the nerd there. Okay, Dragon Spirit. I'm very happy there are so many Ghostbusters fans. I love the film, and I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I was honoured to have a friend who worked on the special effects of the movie. That's super cool. Tell us more about that, Dragon Spirit. What effects did they do? What was their job? I'd love to know. Um, nerd Affiliate saying, "What's up? What's up, man? Is I'm here at the firehouse." And the Ecto is going to turn up. That's that's why I'm here. <laughs> Let's see. Evil Bear. Uh, lucky there, bud, uh, to get to see this. So amazing. Um, if I ever go to New York, I'd love to see this place in person. Yeah, I mean, you, if you come to New York, you've got, you've got to come here. You've got to. It's kind of the law, as far as I'm concerned, at least. <laughs> you have to come here and, uh, and see the firehouse. Uh, okay, let's see. What else have we got here? Um, I'm allowed to go say hi to them. Uh, not to these folks, I'm not right now, um, because they're part of something else that I can't really talk about right now. <laughs> um, have I seen the inside, Noah? Yes, I have. Um, they don't really let you inside, um, but you can see inside from the door. The door's often open. Um, and like I said, you can see the, the patches from all the Ghostbuster communities and the um, Ghostbusters 2 sign in there. And usually there's a, obviously, it's a working firehouse. That's something that a lot of people don't realize that this is not a decommissioned firehouse like they say in the movies or, you know, abandoned. It's been a working firehouse the whole time, all the way from 1984 Ghostbusters all the way through to now. Okay. Uh, people saying the Ghostbusters, yes, excellent. Uh, this is sick. Would love to see this in real life from uh, Deegan Scott. Come to New York. You can see it in real life. Uh, just a flight, <laughs> depending on where you live in the world. Um, uh, Evil Bear loves how hyped I am. I am a tiny bit hyped. Just a, just a, a little bit. Just a little bit hyped, yes. <laughs> um, uh, the Soul of Mind says, I came to the firehouse in 2019 and it looks like it's changed a lot since then. They, so when I first got here to New York, there was actually scaffolding all up on the building. Um, they were doing quite a major bit of refurbishment. And so uh, the scaffolding only really came down just before the premiere of Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, and they hung the sign um, up for that. And then the sign has moved a couple of times and it moved up to this window here. Um, but the sign has now been hung I'm gonna say properly, from a Ghostbusters point of view, it's been hung properly in order to um, promote the movie for this week. So how long it will be in this configuration, I don't know, uh, because the last time it was like that maybe for a few months and then the, the fire department moved it to a different position. Uh, but right now, um, it's there. So if you're in New York or in the New York area, then you know what you're gonna to need to do is come down here and see it because it, it may not be like this for very long. Right, a couple more questions or comments, let's see. Um, 
Ross Hobbison. I love uh, that they've placed the sign in its proper place. Yeah, totally, uh, for the release of the film. It, it, it's wonderful to see it lit up. It totally is. And I'm sorry about my camera quality right now because it's getting kind of to that dark time when I'm on my front-facing camera. Hang on, let me, let me just spin it around so you can see it in its, in its beautiful glory. There it is, look. So fantastic. So great. Uh, Evil Bear says they, they, they've got a Stay Puff tattoo. Wow, dude, that's a commitment to Ghostbusters right there. That's so cool. Do I have any merchandise for the firehouse? That is a super good question. Um, I do have the patch of the firehouse. Uh, obviously, the, the team here at Hook and Ladder 8, that's the official name of the firehouse, Hook and Ladder 8, this building and the troop here have a badge. So I do have the badge of Hook and Ladder 8. And uh, my buddies, Nick and Greg, they have uh, the t-shirts for the New York Fire Department for Hook and Ladder 8. Uh, uh, Nuka Bat says, um, extremely jealous. I'm sorry that you're jealous. Don't feel jealous. I'm sharing it with you. Uh, and um, I'll imagine you're here with me and enjoying being here at the firehouse. <laughs> um, Rambling Nerd says it'll be there permanently. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. Uh, that, I would love that if it was there permanently. I know that it's changed configuration. I think, I'm not sure if it will stay in this configuration, but I totally hope so. So I, that would be great if it did, because it's such a cool thing to see it like this. Uh, okay, who else has got a question here? Um, Sophia says that uh, the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie was good. I loved it. I, in fact, I was saying earlier that I watched it last night and it was so fantastic to see it again. It's a great movie. I really, really love it. Um, and uh, uh, Hiko Muller, and again, I really apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Sorry. Uh, sorry to anyone whose name I pronounced wrong. Um, it's not intentional. It's just my brain. <laughs> but uh, you say, as a long time Ghostbusters fan, I met so many cool other fans and I'm happy to be in this community. Um, I'm a co-host of the German Ghostbusters podcast, Spectral Radio, and we are in our fifth year. That is so awesome that you've been in it five years. The, the fandom for this, for Ghostbusters, is huge, absolutely massive. And I've always been a fan, but it's only since I came to the greater New York area um, and got involved with Nick and with the car, with the Ecto-1, that I've been able to be more kind of, you know, personally connected to the franchise in this way. And yeah, I mean, I met some awesome people at the Wonderverse opening. I've met awesome people that have come and done ghost tours. I've met great people here at the firehouse. I've met a lot of people online. The online community is so great. Um, there's the builder community, the people that love to make props. There's the people that just love talking about Ghostbusters. There's the cosplayers, there's the franchises. It's just such a rich community. And the thing I love about it, I mean, I guess this comes from watching the movie when I was a kid, but I love the technology. And um, I was on a Reddit thread and somebody said, that vibe, that style of technology they're using, Ghostbusters, could you call it ectopunk? You know, kind of like steampunk, you've got this ectopunk, which is a style for Ghostbusters stuff. And I'm like, that's such a cool name for it. But yeah, because there is really a style and a vibe to the technology you see in Ghostbusters. It's so cool. I'm sorry if I haven't got to your questions or comments yet. Um, okay, so people commenting on some of the things I'm saying. Uh, let's see, yeah, people certainly love Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, the actor was not around earlier. Um, somebody asked, uh, Nuka Bat asked, um, but it's meant to be around soon because some of the folks that are standing around here right now are waiting for it to appear for a very special purpose. <laughs> So I'm hoping, I came on um, half an hour ago, expecting the actor to be here a little earlier, <laughs> but it's not here yet. And again, I'm assuming that Nick is wrestling the traffic, waiting for it to arrive. Um, and maybe he told me seven and he actually meant 7.30. We'll see, we'll see. Um, okay, okay, Evil Bear has a question for me. Um, are you a fan of the 2016 movie? Oh, controversial, right, let's get into this one. Uh, me personally, I loved it when it came out and was not a big fan of the one now, but yeah, I still nerd out to it, ha <laughs> ha. So actually, you know what? Um, I, I'm a little split on the 2016 movie. I did actually, I did enjoy it. 
I, I enjoyed it until the third act and then I think it lost its way a little bit um, but it was Ghostbusters it was funny and I did enjoy a lot of parts of it but I have to admit that personally for me Afterlife I loved a lot more but that, again and the great thing the great thing about anything like a movie is that I'm, if people don't like something that's fine if people love it that's also fine I don't think we have to all agree with each other what we love and what we don't love. It's totally fine to disagree. And actually sometimes disagreeing is more interesting. <laughs> so I'm really glad that you enjoyed it and liked it and, and, and that it was so much fun. You can tell I'm in New York. I don't know what you see behind me. You can hear I'm in New York, <laughs> but that is not an Ecto-1 siren. That is definitely a uh, NYPD siren. Now, what is turning up is a fire truck. Let me show you this. <laughs> so this is pretty cool that you get to see this. Hopefully what they're gonna do now is open up the firehouse. They typically back this thing in. I'm gonna move move position so you can see them do this. It's pretty cool. So yeah. We're gonna open up the doors here and back this in. And if you're careful, all the stuff I've been talking about, uh, the, the truck's probably gonna block it. But you'll probably see the wall here with the Ghostbusters patches on it, uh, which is just there. And then the Ghostbusters 2 sign just above it. Um, in fact, I'll get my hand out of the, the shot because otherwise it will <laughs> take it out of focus. So you thought the Ecto-1 was stored in there, but in reality, it's actually, <laughs> it's actually a fire truck that's in there right now. So yeah, as I said earlier, a completely operational firehouse. I'm gonna get a bit closer now while the door's still open. They're probably gonna shut it in a second, but this gives me a chance to show you, as I said, just a second ago what I was talking about earlier which is what I love is you see all these patches from all the franchises that have come and visited the firehouse um, up on the wall and the original Ghostbusters 2 sign up there on the wall so yeah super cool and these guys super used to being filmed <laughs> by fans and other people so yeah very cool. Right, back to the questions. Look for Slimer. I, I, I'm a bit scared if Slimer turns up. I, it's already cold here in New York tonight. I don't want to be covered in slime. I'd be freezing, uh, Robert. But yeah, I'll keep a lookout for him at least. <laughs> um, Jack Campbell says, have you ever read Ghostbusters Daughter by Violet Ram uh, Ramus? I have not. Um, <clears throat> But I've heard good things about it. So now another person's recommended it to me. I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. Thank you. Um, a few people asking what they've missed. Um, just me rambling on about the firehouse, to be blunt, for the last while. And waiting for the Ecto to turn up. That is what um, has been going on. Um, and uh, I, as I said earlier, I have it on good authority. The Ecto's going to be here very, very soon. Um, so... Um, uh, let's see, other comments. I want to see the first original Ghostbusters as a kid in my local cinema. It was shut down years ago, but it's opened up again. So we're gonna see Frozen Empire for nostalgia. That's amazing. That is super cool. You're gonna be able to go back there and hopefully experience some of those nostalgic feelings. Oh, look, I guess they're going out on another call. They just got called out again. They parked it up and now they're leaving. <laughs> no rest for the New York City Police Department, I'll tell you. But that was cool. We got to we got to look inside very briefly, which was great. And you got to see those patches and the Ghostbusters 2 sign, as I said, from the original Ghostbusters 2 movie. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, people just sharing some love for Afterlife. Um, and some other people sharing love for the 2016 movie, which is great. Um, have you ever played or seen Ghostbusters game from 2009? So I have seen it, I have not played it, but I have watched the, the playthrough on, on YouTube um, and I love it, yeah. Um, yes, it was uh, apparently meant to be the story uh, bef before, uh, for three, for Ghostbusters 3, but turned out to be a, a, a video game. Um, I, I look a bit cold. 
<laughs> is there a nice coffee place around the corner? You know what? There is, there's not a coffee place. There's a coffee place a little ways away. Um, it is cold though. You are right. It is cold. <laughs> it's really cold. You know what? The temperature isn't that cold, but it has been incredibly windy today. And for those of you that are watching earlier, I shared the story. When I was walking over here on Canal Street from the subway, I, um, my hat blew off. My hair went crazy and I had to run down the street to grab my hat. <laughs> and then when I finally was able to grab it, uh, I, <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> uh, I picked it up, got to put it on, and this new, new Yorker was like, it's a hell of a wind. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it is. And then he just walked down the subway, both of us laughing. Uh, so at least I still have my cap and I don't have an embarrassing hairdo in front of you uh, right now. Uh, other, other questions, other thoughts here. Uh, be cool if the fire truck stuff had Ghostbusters logos on it. Well, here's the interesting thing. The patch, so the actual official patch that the Ghostbusters, sorry, the Ghostbusters, the, fire, the guys at the firehouse wear, um, has actually the uh, No Ghost logo on it. And it has the No Ghost holding a hook um, uh, and a ladder or a hook and a, uh, some tools for, for um, firefighting. I'm gonna lay it there because I can't quite remember visually in my mind, but I know it has the uh, No Ghosts logo kind of built into the, which is super cool. Imagine uh, being in the New York Fire Department, getting assigned to hook and ladder eight, um, and then finding yourself um, in the position uh, of, of wearing that patch, a real Ghostbusters patch. It's pretty, pretty freaking amazing, to be honest. Um, Afterlife was brilliant. Um, uh, Jace is saying perfect the 2016 movie oh didn't didn't like you did Jace did not like the original the 2016 movie and that's fine that's totally fine um, I, I also loved Afterlife I thought it was fantastic um, what's going on at the firehouse if people are asking uh, well just normal day-to-day -day stuff right now um, is going on here um, the fire truck coming and going which is great that you guys get to see that um, but also, um, what is going on is that the Ecto-1 is going to be here in a second. I've been saying that for now, 34 minutes. <laughs> and when Nick gets here, I'm going to ask him why he's so late with the car. Um, no Ecto fire truck. That would be cool, Nerd Affiliated. An Ecto fire truck. I'm trying to imagine what that would look like. There's, I've got lots of ideas in my head now. I want, Nerd Affiliated, you need to draw that for me because I'd like to see what's in your mind for an Ecto fire truck. That is a cool idea. <laughs> That's a cool idea. Uh, Ethan's saying, is it cold? It is cold. Uh, <laughs> Ecto fire truck would be awesome. Uh, Ecto, I'm sorry, autocorrect. Oh my gosh, don't worry about auto um, correct. Uh, autocorrect is my nemesis, I tell you. Um, uh, uh, let's see, Evil Bear is saying, I think that I'm not mistaken. Don't some of the fire trucks use the Ecto sound? Not that I've ever heard um, them using it. But that would be cool if they did. I think that's gonna got to be a feature of the Ecto fire truck, 100%. Uh, Matthew plays saying yes. I am at the firehouse, uh, Matthew, uh, the real firehouse in New York City. Um, the death, the real death chill. It's starting to feel that way. <laughs> it is starting to feel like the real uh, death chill, uh, Jack. Thank you. Um, uh, right. Sorry, I'm getting a bit behind on these comments. I super apologise. Here, hang on. I'm catching up now. Um, My seal is about six blocks north of the firehouse. We go there every time we visit her. That's awesome. Sill meaning sister-in-law, I'm assuming. <laughs> that's that's really cool. That's it's uh, And so you know then how cool it is to come down here and hang out at the firehouse. Let's see. Uh, I love how all of us over here can relate to the movie franchise like this and have fun talking about the best moments and how we got introduced to it. Um, and this is so wholesome. I, couldn't agree more. I absolutely love the fact that we're all bonded by the same, the same love for, for one franchise, which is super awesome. Let's see what else people are saying. Should the Ghostbusters video game be canonical to the movies? Oh, that's an interesting discussion topic. Well, so I, I think it might have fallen into one of those places like, and if any of you are Star Wars fans, like Star Wars Legends has where it was once the kind of extent banded universe and now it's become a bit more like legends. I'd like to think some of the things in the story are true and a part of canon, but nobody's made an official comment about it. So right now that lays, that's for us to decide. So if you want it to be canon, it can. If you don't want it to be canon, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> um, 
An Ecto-1A fire truck is in my mind now. <laughs> that would be very, very cool. Which city are you in? I'm in New York City. This is New York City. This is the firehouse from Ghostbusters, the original firehouse. And this is the sign ready for the premiere of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire here in New York on Thursday this week. And sub up to my channel. I'm going to bring in coverage on Thursday from New York City and from the premiere. Uh, what else have we got at here? Um, Dragon Spirit says the original name of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire was Ghostbusters Firehouse. It was. Uh, gave out the beanie hats to all the cast members uh, that said Firehouse on them. My friend has one. I was given one by Paul Rudd. That is super cool. Yes, the working title of the movie was Firehouse. And when we were here on location for the filming of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and if you're new to my channel, um, there are several videos behind the scenes. We were literally here on the street while they were filming Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, all of that chase that you've seen in the trailer with them chasing after the sewer dragon um, and with Phoebe hanging out of the car with uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the proton pack and the neutrino one firing. We, we saw all of that being shot and I've got a full breakdown of the behind the scenes um, of that on my channel. So, um, I mean, don't leave the live now, you know, just hit the sub button and then you can go look at it later. But yeah, all, all of that's there and it was super fun watching them do it. Um, you know Ectotech is making an Ecto-1A. I do know. I do know. And I may have seen it. <laughs> I may have actually seen it. Um, uh, in fact, again, if any of you are new to the channel, you won't know this, but those of you that aren't, um, Nick, who's the, uh, sorry, Greg, who's the Ectotech, Nick, who's the owner of Ecto-1NJ, and I did a live stream together from Nicky's workshop uh, where there's not one uh, Ecto, but there's actually three ectos. <laughs> so one complete, which is the one that's gonna be turning up here tonight, and then two other ectos, one ecto-1A and another ecto, uh, that still some decisions are being made about what it might turn out to be. Which version of the ecto-1 it might be? Is it gonna be ecto-1A? Is it gonna be something else? Is it gonna be the recto from Afterlife? Is it gonna be the one from Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? We'll find out and we will see. Um, and you can be sure uh, uh, we'll cover it here on this channel. <laughs> we will absolutely cover what is happening. In fact, I really wanted to show you, uh, you guys um, some footage of that, um, but Nick kind of wasn't ready yet to show anybody the work that's going on, so it's gonna remain a secret until such time as he is ready to share. Okay, let's see, what else are people saying? Can I say hi to the Ghostbusters uh, for me when they come? Yes, I will. When they turn up, I will totally say hi to them uh, from you. Uh, maybe Ecto 1B from the 2009 game. Interesting. And if you've been playing close, close attention, playing, blah, blah, you can tell I'm cold. I can't even get my words out now. If you've been paying close attention, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, there's now an Ecto C, Ecto 1C vehicle and if you've been watching the trailers that looks a little bit like a motorbike and a pinion sidecar and from what we can see the pinion sidecar appears to have a positron thrower in it so i'm kind of excited to see that in the movie for real well for real you know on in the movie and who knows what vehicles will turn up in new york for the premiere we don't know yet so again join me on on join me on thursday for the premiere uh uh, and we'll find out. We'll find out together. Uh, let's see. Say hi to the Ghostbusters again. Somebody's asking. Uh, with a massive trap on top, instantly catches them. Oh, I think we're still talking about the um, still talking about the Ecto fire truck that that we talked about earlier. That's awesome. Uh, one C, you say. Hmm. I'd love to have some bikes. I'm a biker at heart. Oh, there you go, Evil Bear. Well, totally. Then. Um, yeah, it, it, it looks a little bit like Had Hagrid's motorcycle from, um, at least from what we've seen from Harry Potter, a little bit. So it's like an older looking bike, kind of on theme for all of the Ghostbusters technology, which is kind of got some slightly older vibes to it now, which I love, by the way. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna, I, I imagine that a lot of replicas of that bike are gonna start turning up because making one of those things for a fan is gonna be so much cheaper and easier to do than if um, you're uh, you know, trying to make an Ecto-1, because that is not cheap and those cars are not easy to find these days. Um, 
my local Ghostbusters group is the South and on sea Ghostbusters, no way. Guess where I come from originally? You can put it in the chat. Guess where you think I'm from originally? In England. <laughs> um, uh, does it fly like a bike from Harry Potter? <laughs> You are right, uh, hand shark fishing. I may be from South End originally. <laughs> um, does it fly? I don't think it flies like the bike in Harry Potter. I, I think that would be a bad choice if it did that. Uh, got some drones that pop out. I love the idea of drones flying the car out. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Nerd is asking, Nerd Affiliate is asking, um, yeah, hey Archer. Um, I'm a newer fan since cosplaying with Rambling Nerd. Sweet recently saw 2016 and liked it there you go good for you man you see it's not as bad as everyone makes out i don't think it's a perfect film but i did it, it was fine i i did enjoy it and it certainly made me laugh um okay let's see uh uh people talking more about cosplay uh okay uh, the sign finally is in its correct it is it's in the correct and perfect position i agree with you it makes me very happy to see it there, yes. Um, <clears throat> I lived in the county of Essex my whole life, Hanshot Fishing says. I was not there for very long, but I have been to Essex many a time. Um, when are we getting an Ecto-2 helicopter? That would be amazing. I have seen a quote um, from the movie of Paul Rudd saying we should have an Ecto chopper. So who knows whether it's gonna be in this movie or, <laughs> or in the next one to come after this. But yeah, I mean, if they, you know, if those ghosts are gonna fly that high like they do in the trailer, then maybe a chopper is the way to go here. Um, do you think now uh, that we have the Ghostbusters coming back, do you think the Scrap Ghostbusters 3 Hellbent can now be made into a game movie? or a real Ghostbusters-like spin-off? That is interesting. Really interesting question. What I am aware of <clears throat> from a rumor, I, I'm gonna say quite good rumor, <laughs> is I believe there is a TV animated something in the works. That's my understanding from possibly speaking to some people that may know something about it. And that's all I'm gonna say. But if that happens, that will be super, super cool. Um, okay, no, well, you're not bugging me. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the uh, new Ghostbusters movie. Uh, the Zippy Squad says, yeah, uh, we, we, this is everything we're talking about right here on this stream. We're all getting super excited for the Ghostbusters movie. Uh, and that is what this whole conversation is about right now. Because uh, in, in lieu of the uh, Ecto arriving, um, we may as well just talk cool Ghostbusters stuff. Because why not? Because talking Ghostbusters is super fun. Um, uh, let's see, Evil Bear saying, oh, the new Ghostbusters movie coming out in March 22nd. Yes, it is. Um, sorry, Duolingo. Yes, it is Duolingo. Um, and um, uh, as I said earlier on this feed, I am very lucky, very lucky to be there at the premiere. So I will be bringing coverage on this channel, some live coverage during the day and some highlights of the premiere on my uh, YouTube channel. So again, if you're interested in seeing any of that, um, and if you would like to, please drop a sub uh, to this channel. And as, of course, as soon as we drop that stuff or we have a live, you'll be notified that that's, that that's happening. We don't need this amazing front light pushed into the rug like Gremlins. I assume you're talking about the Gremlins animated show. I have not seen that. I'm a massive fan of Gremlins, actually, but I have not watched the show, so I can't speak on that one. Um, yes, once we get the movies in disc, then we're going to have all of them. Yes, you'll have all of them, the movies. Um, it is the best to be a Ghostbusters fan. I agree, Jack. Um, I, again, yeah, the animated movie. I, I don't know if it's a movie or a TV series. Um, you may be. You may have more information than me. But yes, there's definitely something in the works, and certainly. It, something that we've seen Sony do very very well lately is animation like the Spider-Verse movies have been very very good so I have faith that it could be a good experience if Sony do something like that um, let's see what else uh, oh the Zippy Squad is, is dropping a potential spoiler idea here which is that um, the the originals are all gonna are all gonna get it <laughs> are all going to be taken down. I, 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 I hope not. I think that the, the plan right now, and here's the fire truck, by the way, the fire truck's coming back in. So for those of you who didn't see it earlier, I'm going to 
I'm going to turn the camera around in a second and show you the truck going in because you'll get to see the Ghostbusters memorabilia inside the fire hats. Also, it gives me a chance to swap my hands over. I've got a very heavy backpack on because I was at work earlier. So holding my phone up has been a little bit uncomfortable. Let's put it that way. All right, let me just turn this around so you can see. Here we go. Yeah, the, the trucks, uh, the fire trucks are going to back in like it normally does. I'm just going to shoot from over here. Okay, here it comes. And the firefighters always stand out on the street here just to make sure that uh, pedestrians and other folks are protected and safe. Um, and now you can see it just briefly. You see that there are all the patches um, and Ghostbusters memorabilia uh, on the wall up here. And it's cold, so they're probably going to shut the door pretty quick, but you can see there the original Ghostbusters 2 sign and uh, all the patches from the franchises. Um, and uh, if you ever come here, you can actually buy yourself a Ghostbusters um, FNDY shirt, which you can see on the wall there. Um, and you can buy yourself a patch uh, for um, the actual Ladder 8. In fact, I was talking about it earlier, the fact that their patch that they actually wear, it's just here, they're shutting the door, but it actually has the No Ghost logo in the official patch for the Firehouse crew. So if you end up um, being uh, in this team in New York, you get to wear an actual Ghostbusters logo as an official department of New York. That is pretty, pretty freaking awesome, I think. Right, comments. Oh my gosh, loads and loads of comments. How am I going to keep up with all these? I'm sorry if I'm missing any of these comments. Throw them in again. Oh, the car is here. Somebody's telling me the car is here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Here is the Ecto. Here we go. Hey, Nick. Hey, there he is. I'm live streaming right now. This is Nick, everybody. Hey, guys. How are we doing out there? Owner of this amazing car. So, here, hey, <laughs> hey, Greg, this is the Ectotech. I'm live streaming, just so you know. Hey, everybody. I'm People have been talking about you on the stream, sir. So. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you to bring your smoking trap, and I should have called you earlier. Oh, yeah, could not. I could. Yeah. Yeah. So, people, uh, Greg. Put a couple more knickknacks on to change the bracket on the Greyhose, the 84 style, a little bit ago. Got the rear bumper re-chrome, so that's looking fresh. Uh, the front it's front awesome. Front Nick's been doing a lot of work on the. Sorry, Greg's been doing a lot of work on the car. Oh, brilliant. That's awesome. Yeah, little touches. Little it's details. looking good, man. It's looking nice. How's the 1A coming? People were asking about it on the on the feed. <laughs> yeah, as far as the 1A goes, the motor mount kit came today. The brake kit came this week. So I've got to do a little, do a little cut up on the frame to get the, uh, the cross member to fit in. Yeah, yeah. And got to make a transmission cross member. That's awesome. Do you guys hear that? We need a hood for the car. So everything else is fine. I got fenders. Uh, most of the parts are already powder coated. Bumpers ready to go. Got a rear axle holder for it. So, yeah. so this is the this is the priority though. We worry about this first, and everything else comes after. So. This is the the hero car. So this is this, this is our this is our mothership. <laughs> yeah, the, the hero car. What is the what do you think you call it? The exhibition car. The exhibition car. So, yeah. The perfect car. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. But yeah, there's uh, nothing quite like seeing the Ecto in front of the firehouse, folks. This is this is the thing right now. Um, and they're here uh, for some filming. And some of you will already know that, um, I guess, that, that kind of Nick, Nick, Greg, and I, what Nick likes to lovingly call the Ecto-1 team, the Ecto One New Jersey team. Um, I'm the kind of videography and promotional stuff. <laughs> and uh, uh, Nick is the owner, creative mind, and uh, Greg is the uh, Greg is the mechanic. And now the Ecto looking as it should in, in all its beauty uh, here with its lights flashing. Have you got me snacks? Uh, yeah, I got, uh, what you got? Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls. 
It's just what we need on a cold hey, New York night. What's that? Next break and stuff. <laughs> next, next, next break and oh, stuff. Oh, thank you. Tootsie Rolls. It really should be a crunch bar, but you know, hey, this is how it goes. Let me show you the Ecto in all its glory here. A lot of folks saying hi to Nick and Greg. I will share the hi to them. Lots of people saying hi to you guys. No, Nick no. doesn't know how to flip switches apparently. He's, that's why, <laughs> that's why you, you have to have your own ecto tech when you come do events because you just don't remember how your own car works. <laughs> and let's say the stuff doesn't work. And I walk over and go, and then boom. Yeah, that's why he's a mechanic. Hey, Nerd Affiliated, thank you so much, sir. Oh, we love Nerd Affiliated. I appreciate, thank you so much for giving all that love to me. You I appreciate it. I got more Tootsie Rolls. I can't give, I, I, I can't give Nerd Affiliated Tootsie very, Roll through the screen, but I would, would if I could. Are they, <laughs> did you hear that? He's just given me three and then he just said, they're really stale. <laughs> I wouldn't like pre-open the package and be like, are these good, Matt? No, I handed them to you. Just like, Super stale. So, Matt, uh, have a snack. They're really bad. <laughs> this is what just happened. <laughs> so, yeah. Did you I show mean, everybody the sign, Matt? I did, yeah. I've been, you know what? People have been so patient. I came down here at 7, because oh, that's yeah. when Nick said the car was going to be here. And um, Too much traffic. Too much traffic. I said to people it was the traffic. And then I stood in front of the sign, oh, telling okay. people about the firehouse, telling them about all of the franchise badges, oh, okay. telling them about, you know, the things I, at least that I know, you know, I'm sure that you and Nick know much more than me. And then we've been chatting about Ghostbusters. It's been super oh, fun. We've okay. been talking about the animated series. I have possibly a, I have a question. Did they, I didn't walk over yet. Did they do anything to the front door or they just put the sign? The door looks the same to me, just the regular red I was wondering if elevating gonna, door. If they're yeah. going to put a sticker or paint it or do anything. No, I think it looks exactly the same. Maybe they, that's a good point though, folks. They may change the door slightly to bring it in line with the, with the movie, but we'll see. Um, now, I said that people turn up to look at the firehouse a lot, but when the Ecto turns up, that is crazy town. Um, so, yeah, people, Having driven around this, in this car in the city, it's kind of, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like being a celebrity. Everyone wants to take a picture of this car. It's just the best. It's the best experience ever. If you can get to New York and you can get a ghost tour in this car, highly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. So yeah, there was a crowd before, but now there's a real, a real, real crowd. Nick, somebody's asking, what are your thoughts, Nick? Greg, I'm so sorry, Greg. I'm one, tired and I'm it, cold. If you're a fan of and Matt's been... channel, which is so good, right? <laughs> one thing about Matt, and he's a good friend of mine, he knows this guy knows no one's name. I, including I'm, mine, apparently. I, I have a real problem with names. If like, you watch our live stream I know from who the other, you are. If you watch our live stream from the it other day, Ectotech. it's fine. It's a, that's fine. You can call me that. You can call me, but anyway, call me Shirley. But anyway, even the other night during the live stream, him, him and he's talking I, to Nick I, and I, and we both got reversed. I call it, it's named Dyslexia with Matt. It is, it is, I'm anyway, sorry, people. We love Matt, that's a great channel. I love you too, man, I love so, you too. The super, so, super good smoking traps. I have got a smoking trap. There's a whole video coming about that. Mm -hmm. um, so, question for you. These guys were saying, okay. how cool would be an Ecto fire truck? An Ecto fire truck? They yes. have an Ecto fire truck, it's here. No, but like, like done out with like, all of this. Oh, I want to go ask the guys at uh, Hook and Lottery. See? I think they're actually doing firefighter stuff, so that's probably not a they're lot. At, they, the, the car's been out twice since uh, since we've been to the car. The truck. I can't even figure the out engine, the difference between the car and the truck. Hey, how's it going? The, the engine, thank you. I there actually saw that it was as out when I pulled up. stationary, I'm okay. But if I'm yeah, if yeah. we're moving, obviously, you know, we... What's somebody asking? in Zoom Squad? Well, one thing I really liked and saw in the yeah. trailers... Go Brown, we'll say hi to Ian for dance. Hey, Ian. Hey. I'm Matt. I'm part of the part of the crew here. How hey, you doing? Hey, what's up, man? Nice to meet you. I'm live streaming. Hey, this is all right. Ian. Hi, everybody. This we're... is why we're here tonight. Come on, yeah. you, you tell people why we're here. We are filming the intro to my special Ian Finance, Wild, Happy, and Free, YouTube.com slash Pod. And we got the crew here with us. 
and I'm living out my dream, baby. How about it? You know? Amazing, man. Yeah, thank it's you. so cool. I'm so excited. This is the coolest. Yeah, I, I, I can see in your face the same look I had in my face when I first drove this car in, yeah, in this. Yeah, I was like, my face was red the whole time. It's, I was it's just amazing. Like, I, yeah. I couldn't be happier. You this know, it's the coolest. You thing. know, it's exciting. I mean, cut you off. This is the first time, though, the car's been here with the sign the proper way since yeah, 84. Yeah, it is. Right? That's true. So, wow. dude, so you got dibs on that right there. Look that's at that. Anyway, yes, you know? yes. You're the man. You're look the man that. right now. Oh, my God. You don't look so good. <laughs> you look better. <laughs> so this is super exciting time, guys. So what are, what other questions we got? So many questions. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, people are here from Chile, joining us from Chile. Thank you for joining the, the channel. The car does look amazing. Thank you. Yeah, Hector one is cool. I need one. Yeah, I need one as well. Um, yeah, super awesome. Super awesome. Um, anything that was was said here that's like a link or anything, once we finish this stream, I'm going to drop uh, the information into the chat um, so you can have links to everything uh, because my memory cannot consume all the information and remember it. And if I say something on the channel, I'll probably say it wrong. So any links or anything, I'll throw in the chat uh, later. Okay. Ian has got himself... You're looking good, man. You're in the right. Looking right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do the gloves or not. Yeah. I would say. Now, I just, I just want you to imagine for a second being here in New York, dressed as a Ghostbuster, with the car, at the firehouse. It's a dream. It's totally a dream. It's one of the coolest things that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I, and I have to just add, getting married was the most important and awesome thing I've ever done in my life. But, but just between you and I, coming here in the city dressed as a Ghostbuster and riding the Ecto, that was a close second. Pretty close second. So yeah, so it's good. I love now. this town! <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're super lucky, um, we may get the opportunity to take this for a little spin. Tell me in the chat, do you want to come for a ride in the Ecto? You want to try it out? The chat is quiet. I'm waiting for the delay of my stream to hit the internet to see if anyone's interested. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. My wife is literally watching the stream right now and she heard me talk about uh, comparing my day getting married to <laughs> riding in the Ecto. <laughs> classic, classic. The moment that Esther joins. <laughs> Oh, a few people looked slightly interested, possibly. There's a couple of people saying, I'll think about it. Maybe we should take a ride in the car. I don't know. Wait, am I reading this properly? Oh, yeah, I think people are excited about... I think people are excited, Nick, about maybe seeing what it's like to be in the car. Yeah, When, sure. we, when we take it off, yeah. yeah. So uh, is the plan to drive it to a, a undisclosed location in New York City? Uh, tonight? Yeah, or yeah. is it just here? No, no, no. We're actually going to head over to uh, 13 and Park. It's not no oh. secret. I mean, okay. you're on the street, you're going to find us. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I uh, I wasn't involved too much with the planning. I just kind of showed so you up know what's here. Happening. I have absolutely no idea, but I live my life that way, so it kind of works out. You don't. I've never. You've never lived your life like that. Ah, it's all right. You know, <laughs> I just kind of roll with the punches. <laughs> so hopefully, we're going to get to go in it. We'll see. We'll see what's happening. I kind of like when people come take pictures because I usually just kind of walk up to them. And I do this too on the PA. I walk up and I'm like, uh, that'll be that'll be 30 bucks for that, that picture. You <laughs> have to delete it in front of me. Now, obviously, I don't charge for pictures. Not my, but uh, it's always kind of funny to see the reaction, especially when I'm on the PA and people are just walking by. And I'm like, uh, you need to Ven uh, Venmo us $50 for something on the car. Uh, people are like, they'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's super funny. If you, you check out the video, there's a video of us coming into the city in the car to see Jason Reitman. Mm. It's actually the day he signed the car. And there's a few shots of uh, Nikki 
using the PA. Oh yeah. And people going, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the PA is uh, is definitely one of my favorite things about this car uh, that we put in. It's just you have. I mean, it's it's fun just to drive it, but then to interact with people like while you're driving it, just to mess with them a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's super fun. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's a big week. It is a big week. week. I've been saying this the whole time. You know what? I, I, I got here at seven. I started the live stream and I said, in a second, the Ecto <laughs> 35 minutes is going to come around the corner. <laughs> so I've been, hey, the yeah. entire time that I've been on the stream, I've been saying it's a really important week. It's, it's a really big week. It's a, a super big week. <laughs> um, I would definitely keep it locked to some of the socials to see definitely. where we may show up with the car in the city. Uh, I feel like I'm Ecto Ubering all week. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you'll definitely see the Ecto-1 through the streets of New York City. This one, maybe other ones. I, I don't know what Sony has planned. There's a, yeah, I think, I think there's, I think we're getting the impression some cool stuff's going to go down. And we certainly, what we can guarantee is that this car is going to be here on Thursday. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, um, I don't know if we're supposed to say that, but... Um, oh, sorry. This car is not going to be here <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> so uh, actually, you know what, though? They did... They did put out uh, a blurb in one of the local papers that Saturday uh, from 11 to 2, uh, there's an ice safety. So they're really tying the Frozen Empire thing in with the firefighters. Uh, you know, we love our, our, our bravest here. So 11 to 2, uh, there will be an Ectomobile. Now, it will not be mine. So I don't know which one. I'm thinking, like, maybe the Frozen Empire car, because I might come to see it. Uh, but that is public information. So uh, if you are in New York City on Saturday, 11 to 2 o'clock, there is a fire or ice safety lesson um i think it's free you now they accept donations for the fdny but uh, definitely come check it out and in terms of what matt said about thursday uh, i don't know i mean it might be here would i show I up might have would i wrong. show up here on thursday yeah i mean the maybe day I of the premiere yeah you never know who knows yeah so I, anything that i may have said strike it you know it's the internet once you say it it's there right <laughs> Like, I'm gonna get an inv uninvited from the premiere. That's uh, what's gonna happen. Yeah, I just, <laughs> wait, I just got an email. I'm sorry, man. You can't come, dude. <laughs> dude, really? What? It's mine. Yeah. Mine. It you is. need me to move it? Mine. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> if you want me to get a, if you want to take a picture. Uh, so you heard it here. I was officially uninvited from the premiere <laughs> because of inadvertently sharing information. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't. Please don't do that to me, Sony. I would cry publicly on this feed and all these people watching wouldn't get a chance to see all the coverage from the premiere. So yeah, we are gonna be here different days throughout the week doing different cool things. We're gonna be here with this car. We're gonna be featuring some other people you may know, I'm sure that we're gonna bump into here at, very, excuse me, at various activities that are going on. I think it's highly likely you might see some other personalities from the Ghostbusters universe, and particularly those that are in the social media Ghostbusters universe who are gonna be here as part of this. So yeah, super excited. Um, lots of people talking, and again, I'm so sorry that I'm uh, not on, uh, yeah, Ecto Trip, <laughs> ice safety. It is ice safety. I mean, it is Frozen Empire. They're tie tying it in. And ice safety is a real thing in New York. If you've walked under a super tall building when it's very, very icy, that's not safe. You have to be super careful. So it's a real thing. Like people have been hurt by ice so you're saying we in the city. Um, what is my favorite part of the trailer? <sighs> you know what? I think it has to be the slime a bit at the end. That's my favorite part of the trailer. Absolutely love that. My second favorite part of the trailer is watching it and realizing that I was stood just around the corner when the car comes whipping past chasing after the sewer dragon. That is also <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the trailer, which is super amazing. Um, isn't there heat is built into New York City sidewalks, lol? Um, that's a good question. You know, there is heated steam into the sidewalks. Um, and so, you know, and sometimes occasionally the heated steam pipes that run to buildings for heating and other things have ruptured and exploded. Um, so, yeah, you know, who, who, who knows? Right, while, while they're discussing filming, and I try not to get run over here <laughs> by this guy who didn't look very excited, um, let's go look inside the car. Okay, we're gonna take a look inside the car if that's all right, Nick. Greg, oh my gosh, I did it again. I'm just gonna talk, call you Ectotech from now on. That's fine. Okay, here we go. So this is the inside of the Ecto. Here you've got the classic Cadillac dashboard here. And of course the classic satellite navigation unit, which was in the original 84 movie. 
Um, but I love the Cadillac logo. And here, obviously, you've got like a, an air freshener that is a Ghostbusters logo. Super, super cool. Um, and then in the back here, have we got the lights, Greg? Have we got the lights for the back here? Can we turn the lights on? Oh, we haven't got them today. Okay. No, just the, just the regular the lights. Yeah. I did charge the batteries, but I forgot them. And if I ask him to do one more thing, he's probably going to scream at me. <laughs> so in here, this is the back of the car. And the back of the car has actually been made out to be a limo. So super awesome Ghostbusters logos on the seats. And there is, you can't see it very well right now, but there is actually a river of slime oh, we can move, we can move the <laughs> on the floor. Showcase right here. Somebody said they saw a marshmallow. A marshmallow. There's a few mini puffs. There might be around. some mini puffs There's causing havoc puffs up around. here yeah. with the wiring um, yeah. up in the corner here. I think that is a possibility. Yeah, that's why they're up there. And then here, one of the coolest features is that this car is fitted with an ecto containment unit. So you know, if your traps get full and you're you know out and about and you need to reuse the trap. You can just dump your ghost in here and you know go for a brand new uh, brand new trap you know take it back out all ready to go and oh somebody said look out for slimer we found slimer here he is yeah he's refreshed yeah he's rejuvenated he had a spa day yeah he's had a spa day yeah <laughs> so i was thinking about maybe doing his eyes red because they did his eyes red again so oh yeah yeah, yeah. so what you mean is you've cleaned him up <laughs> <laughs> that was a um, one that a buddy of mine gave me that was hanging around brand new in the box that I didn't open. That's cool. So cool. It's a generation one uh, spirit, so it looks a little different. Yeah. Know, yeah. It's good, man. It's good. It's yeah, good. Well, the other one that got destroyed in the floods, so, and you know. Oh, that's right. Had to uh, RIP to that one. Yeah. What you guys may not know is, and, and uh, this car, we had a terrible, terrible flood in New Jersey where the car lives and where we live. Yep. <laughs> it was a. Uh, I guess they were calling it Superstorm Ida. It was Ida. Uh, September 2021. It concluded September 1st, 2021. And uh, the entire shop got flooded where they said it was low lying and the Pasang River came up, flooded Ecto. And like, I think it was like 91 other cars got destroyed, but- And um, my house got flooded. And the house got flooded. I lost my basement and, uh, the same day as Nick lost the car. So when, the day, so when Nick lost the car, he was supposed to do a wedding that day and the bride felt so bad she actually i think ben mowed him like 50 bucks or something said i'll go have a drink on me or something and also they lost i believe like four or five cars in the wedding party they lost their cars that got flooded from the storm too it was crazy and uh was crazy. no we brought her back it's, it's a, still a work in progress because everybody knows this thing does a ton of events we're doing tours now so she's uh she's running through the uh, gauntlet but trying to keep it nice and trying to stay on top of the maintenance but still running the original motor and trans so next year hanging out we're actually live now Oh, yeah, no, I know. I was talking to some oh, okay. of the folks. Well, I mean, I assume. We were just sharing the some story of the, of the flood. Oh, the flood yeah, come on, man. Why, why do we got to do that? It's such a joyous it's too week. Close. It's too close, to his, too close to his heart. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to hear us talking about that. He was no. All right, there so, so what we're supposedly doing okay. um, is he's telling, Ian is telling me that he's friendly with some folks in the firehouse, and they're okay with me pulling it onto the apron and pulling it out, like, oh. in the movie. Now, obviously okay. not inside the firehouse, so we're gonna see how long that lasts because I don't know if that's gonna be cool with them. I couldn't tell you. Okay. All right, let's try it. Yeah, I, I have, if anybody has followed the Ecto-1 NJ Instagram, they have seen me pull this car out of the firehouse before in the daytime, but this will be the first time at night and the sun is the proper way. Very so, aggressively normally okay. next year. <laughs> Listen, I am not the, the, the creative guy here. I didn't know they sped the movie up, okay? So I just assume they gun it and that's what hey. I did. Nick has driven that car the exact speed of the speeded up footage yes. in the film. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. Cause I, That's why the car got new springs last year, because Nicky will hop the thing so much. I, I'll tell you what, you know what, anyone who's watching, if you guys want to start GoFundMe for a, like cinema school, I'll happily go, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, as you can tell, when the three of us get together, the banter comes quick. This is, this is the thing. It's much more exciting when three of us are here than just listening to this British guy drone all of the time. But this is the exciting moment. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna to get to see the Ecto, hopefully, pull out of the firehouse. Let's see if this happens. Let's see if we can make this happen. Wow. Okay, people are commenting fast and furious. Yeah, that's pretty much the way, uh, the way it goes with Nick. Uh, 
yes, I love how they're giving the actor more action in the movie. It's fantastic. And uh, cleaning up the town starts playing. We should, uh, you know, you guys, can, you guys can hum it live. Cleaning up the town. Now there's a shot for you folks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now there's something you don't see every day. Whoa, you can't park that here. Ready? <laughs> Alright, so they're recreating the uh, moment in the movie uh, where they do the you can't park that here line when Ray turns up with the junker. Okay, here we go, folks. Loco one night, reach out to Ecto one and Jay about wanting to help with the tours. He'd be happy to talk to you, I'm sure. That was great. That was great. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's on the live, man. People are loving this right now. <laughs> Can you list all the things wrong with the car now? Just needs this. You know, like in the movie where he lists the whole list. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good start. That's better than me. <laughs> okay, crowd, as always, gathered and excited. This is a pretty unique moment. It's not often that you get to see this next to this. Hey, look, double live. Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. You can't have two live streams. It's crossing the streams. What's going on? <laughs> Little wiring, yes, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay. People are, to be expected, kind of freaking out that this is here next to the firehouse. And, you know, I know, I know I'm know, i sounding kind of chill about this, but inside I'm freaking out. <laughs> and this is not the first time this has happened to me. And there's no way that you cannot see this car on this street and not kind of freak out a little bit in all the right ways in all the right ways. We're going to turn around and you're just going to be driving it off down the street. <laughs> I can die tomorrow. I'll get hit by a truck and I'll be happy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, a pretty unique moment, folks. Did Bankman, did Bankman have the gloves hanging off his hip when he goes into the building? The Sedgwick? The Sedgwick Hotel? I think... I can't remember. I know... It's such a familiar shot having them hanging out yeah. of there. You know, what I always remember is that when I was a kid, there was like a, a storybook of Ghostbusters. And on that, he had them hanging in his belt. And that's what I always remember. So... Well, I've got the video on my phone. There you go. Let's find it and figure it out. Greg is also live streaming on his Instagram right now and he's telling yep, everybody going. what's going on. He's, he's letting the Ectotech crew know about all of the technical things that he's done to the car. So, exciting times now. We're going to find out whether or not we can have this thing pull out of the firehouse. Okay, let's see some some of the questions here. Sorry, I was getting distracted with the cool conversation. Nick is just offering New York the police department, the police department, I can't speak properly, the police department, um, any help they want with the car if they need to use it for anything. Uh, one of the things Nick really believes in and it's super important is that 
this car gets used to make people happy and have fun experiences and support anything. So uh, he's chatting to the, the police right now about uh, the possibility of using it for, for anything. So let's see, what are people saying? Oh, so the question about the gloves. He does have the gloves in his belt, Ian just found that answer. So that's super awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you guys have got it right. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Rebecca is saying that I love this, which is, I'm, gl I'm so glad that you're loving this. I am loving it too. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> so fun to be here so uh yeah thanks folks um how many times have you gone pulled over for the lights oh eco trip you know what i'm not aware of any times that the car has been pulled over for the lights um typically we don't run the lights when we're driving around typically occasionally we do strictly that's not allowed but what i would say is that the new york police department have always been incredibly supportive and love seeing this car driving around new york and um, there was even one occasion when we were driving it, the first time I was ever in the car, where we were driving along and we could hear the Ghostbusters music playing behind us. And it was actually a police car <laughs> playing the music for us as we drove through the street, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, okay, so Jonathan Kay is saying, I'm debating driving from North Jersey to see this in person. How long are you staying? Uh, that is a good question. Um, I don't know. I think we're probably going to be here for another, probably another 10, 15 minutes at the firehouse and then we're moving on to another location. So I think if you left now, you probably miss us. Um, I can't guarantee where we're going next because I don't know the schedule. <laughs> Nick's just like, turn up, we're going to be doing stuff. And so that's why I'm here. Um, but yeah, it depends on how north in, in Jersey you are. <laughs> It's awesome. Uh, yeah, Evil Best saying that the police have to be somewhat supportive as long as you're not being too disrespectful and it's the most iconic movie in New York. Yeah, I mean, I think we always try and obey all the, all the uh, you know, laws. That's the way we roll. But at the same time, people get such a lot of joy from seeing this car, particularly in New York. There's something very special about being with this car in New York City. And when people see it here, they kind of lose it in the best way possible and are so excited to see it. It has a kind of wonderful emotional connection, especially if you're a fan of Ghostbusters. It's absolutely awesome. Cool. <laughs> James is like, find the next location and we'll come to it. <laughs> hey, look, you're welcome to try. You're welcome to try. Um, and if I don't uh, keep live streaming, like if I stop live streaming in a little while, I will start again uh, when we, we start moving. Um, because as you can imagine, I've been holding this phone up for 82 minutes. My arm is getting very sore. But if we pull out of the if we pull out of the firehouse, I want to just make sure we're here for that. Uh, we are making Ivan Moment proud. That is true. Thank you. He's a sailor. This is New York. Uh, loving that quote. Shall I sing it? The stream is lifting me higher, higher than ever before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got that a little bit wrong, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you for adding that. <laughs> so I'm gonna step out of the way now, make sure I'm not in any of their shots, because they're filming right now. And uh, actually what I'm gonna do, you know, is I'm gonna go across the street I'm gonna get a shot of the car from the other side of the firehouse. Maybe an angle that you're not familiar with, an angle that we don't see very often in the Ghostbusters franchise. What I would say is, um, I'm standing in the middle of the street now, but there's a shot in afterlife of the car shooting down here from the firehouse that we managed to shoot. Uh, um, the filming uh, when we were here earlier, in the uh, well, earlier, last year, for the actual filming. Where's Bill Murray when you need him? I know, I know, Rebecca. Um, okay, Evil Bear has actually a question. You've got had lots of really good questions. <laughs> uh, Aiden, uh, no way, this is cool. Yeah, it is super cool, Aiden. It is really, really cool. 
I wonder if it's possible to be in a Ghostbusters movie. It would be cool if it was. Um, we didn't quite get in the Ghostbusters movie, but we definitely uh, are just out of shot in one of the scenes I mentioned it earlier from uh, the, the Sewer Dragon chase. There you go, there's a shot for you folks. Where are we, where are we right now, Ectotrip? Ah, uh, this is, this is like you were saying on the live stream that we did last time. Uh, uh, can we get the email address again? <laughs> and I lost it, uh, laughing. I couldn't hold it together. Uh, Jonathan K. Childhood coming alive. I know what a sight this is. What a great moment. <laughs> uh, they're casting for the next show. I did not know that, James. That's cool. Will the firehouse keep up the Ghostbusters sign? I think so. This is a great question. We've had a bit of discussion about this earlier. Um, the plan, as far as I know, is to keep the sign here. Uh, the firehouse are very supportive of that. I don't know if it will stay in this particular configuration because it has moved. So it was originally like this for the Afterlife film. And then they put it back kind of on the wall in a different configuration. Okay, sorry. I've got to stop talking to show you this. Oh, that sound. <laughs> but yes, I think the sign will stay up um, because why would it not? Uh, I don't think there's any reason for it to not stay up. <laughs> Am I the key master? <laughs> Are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so um, you see the team here is doing their, their filming out here on the street for the intro to um, uh, the intro to the uh, the video that they're doing. Uh, so um, sorry, I'm losing the ability to construct sentences right now. I do apologise <laughs> um, because this is what happens when you you stand out here in the street uh, with the Ecto. You lose the ability to human. sound of the Ecto in the street. <laughs> you know when you're a fan, when that siren almost makes you cry. Yeah, I'm with you there, sir. Uh, you always got to run some red lights, Ecto Trip. That is correct. Hey, you want a Q&A? Here he is. Yo, people are asking lots of questions, man, and they're just kind of losing losing their crap a little bit over the Ecto siren. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's always fun to hear. Uh, I mean, listen, I love hearing it, but sometimes, like, when you run it over and over <laughs> and over, like, you know, busting a bunch of ghosts in a day, I'm sure. He's <laughs> having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. No. What, uh, what I see on his face is what you saw on my face the first time I rode that car through New York with you. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's what we strive for here with the Ecto-1NJ, and we do our best. Oh, you don't do your best, you succeed. Oh, hey, listen. You succeed. I don't like, you know, <laughs> when we did that live stream, you know, Greg was just like, oh, be a little more humble. So I'm not trying, this isn't just anything, but don't, we... You don't, there's nothing to be humble listen, about. I'm very proud of my car, and the team, including Matt and Greg, that come with it, you know, and we like putting content out there for you guys. And again, it's going to be a fun week, and even next week with the... Uh, the Jersey showings in Cranford and Sea Caucus, and they have a lot of fun doing that giveaways, green carpet. You know, like, it's not everybody can afford them. Sorry, Nick. Hey, I'd turn the camera. I, I'd turn the camera. I, uh. <laughs> yeah. Let me turn this right here. He's having way too much fun, man. Yeah, I, uh, as long as the, they don't mind the siren inside, you know? Yeah. But yes, we were saying, I think, that uh, you achieve the experience advertised, as advertised. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> like I said, you know, next step is going to be pulling it out out of here, uh, I believe they want to do. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Not many people have started. I don't let many people start the car. No. no I, I, I think I'm riding no. the Ghostbuster High this week because of the movie. No, you, 
Nick has rules, which are very sensible rules about maintaining the sanctity of the car, as sure. I'm going to yeah. describe it. Not, not many people have driven it. No, not many people have driven it. In fact, the last person I know that wasn't part of the Ecto One NJ team that was offered to drive it was McKenna Grace. That's true. Well, I mean, she's lineage, so like, yeah, you know, she's I'll Ghostbusters royalty. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, Paul Rudd, you know, Carrie Coon, any of those guys want to, you know, come down? They're in town. Feel free. I'll give them the keys. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to sit in the back seat and record it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's one to like. That's that's our hope. So. Social media, get to work. Tell them to be here, and uh, they want to drive the car. Obviously. Oh yeah, no. Everybody tells Sony we want that. We want yes. to drive the stars in the car. Exactly, exactly. That's what you want to see. Let's make it happen, fam. And if Let's I get any pushback from it, I'm going to pretend like I never said that. <laughs> I'm already going to be in trouble for this live stream, as it is, I think, by uh, revealing certain information about happenings this week. I don't know anything that I may have said about this week and stuff going on. Uh. Okay, what else are people saying? It is amazing, folks. It is really cool. <laughs> Egg to Trip has this as his ringtone. Yes, we are in New York, folks. There's only one place that you can see this car outside this building. And that is New York City. New York City, for sure. Hello, hello. Uh... Do you have a favorite Ghostbusters movie? Oh, that's really hard. I like the original Ghostbusters movie. Obviously, the original is probably always going to be the best. And then I have to say, I really, really love Afterlife. I really, really like it. It's very different to the other films. And I know that, and I know that, uh, but weirdly, I really like it for that difference. I, I love it for that reason, that it's just got a very different vibe. And I love the discovery, the kids discovering where they're from. There's something that really resonates with me about that. So it's really cool. Um, have I been to the filming locations in California? I have not, actually, but I have watched other people's videos of going to the original firehouse and, and the Sedgwick Hotel, which is in uh, California, but I've not been myself. It's something I definitely need to do next time I'm out there. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Brandon said, love to collaborate with us if possible. Just re reach out um, on my Instagram, uh, Brandon, if you want to do that. It's just Experience Explorers on Instagram where we can chat. Um, it's going to be a crazy week this week, but um, please reach out. Yeah, you're very, very welcome to reach out. Um, okay, here's another question. Uh, who's your favorite Ghostbuster? <gasps> oh. When I was a kid, it was Ray. Ray was my favorite Ghostbuster when I was a kid. And shark fishing, I, I also will admit to crying watching Afterlife. Uh, fantastic film, love it. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, Afterlife is underrated. I I'm surprised actually how many people that are not Ghostbusters fans that didn't even know that that movie happened. So I've been doing actually all I can to say to people, hey, go watch this movie. It's a great movie and it's going to be the prequel to what you're going to be seeing in theatres when you go to see Frozen, Frozen Empire. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay, right. Let's see what else is going on here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still live, man. This is the longest live. I think this is longer than the live we did together. I don't know if people want to watch it. Are you facing me or facing you? I'm facing you. Oh, I don't know. Do people tell, want to tell, watch tell it? people, tell, people tell. Do you want to watch Max, <laughs> who doesn't know your name or my name or his own name? <laughs> <laughs> what What's actually happening? See, <laughs> see this grief I'm getting? Yeah, yeah this honestly, grief. you know what? This grief I'm you know, getting. The, one of the first things that I almost cut Matt off, he's just like, what's that? He goes, Who are you going to call? <laughs> Ian Potter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, whatever's going to happen with Ian's show, the intro is going to be epic. Hey, just like Cardona. I, mean, I did uh, Cardona's wrestling yeah. entrance. I mean, that was a really fun. Death match, uh, death by, bus death matchers match. lost the badge. Yeah, what's but it? Death match bus? Death they, they, they won the entrance of the year, so um, they, they it's tough to tell. They did, and then NXT tried to copy it. They yeah. tried to do something, too, but so it was yeah. I don't know, I'm not all that, but it was definitely oh, okay. as good as Cardona's. We need to point out this hat. This oh, yeah. is uh, a pretty special hat. Uh, there are not many of these around. Now you can, this is the uh, official cast uh, hat uh, for Frozen Empire, courtesy of Nick over here at Official Firehouse uh, HQ. Big shout out to him. He saved me and Greg a couple. So, um, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even see these <laughs> no, no, I think they're pretty precious. Yeah, so, you know what? I just. Go on, Nick. Keep, keep going. Sorry. Well, no, no, no. So, I mean, uh, for all the Experience Explorers folks uh, watching right now, 
And obviously Who they you know. <laughs> they know Matt is British, so the first time we saw the car, she's like, can you put the steering wheel on the other side? <laughs> there's, there's no right side driving Ectos in this line of guy over here is there a cadillac with a, a wheel on the other side i don't know if it, i don't know if there is you know there are three ecto replicas in the uk maybe those guys can do it but not here man <laughs> you're being real british on the live stream i'm sorry i'm sorry oh sorry yeah you're good <laughs> ian's getting that intro in man it's getting the intro yeah, we did, we did get a little bit of a noise complaint from the uh, apartment building. They are trying to put their children down, so uh, we had to cut the siren. And someone who has two toddlers, uh, I offered to babysit for a free night for anybody who was trying to put their kids down. So. That is Apologies, fair. anybody in the local vicinity, if we woke your child. Apologies, people. Let's see, what's in the chat here? I bought a vintage Ghostbusters bandana and wore it every, every day of work. I love it. Um, are you going to call him He-Man? Is He-Man available? Is He-Man around? It's not even funny. You know, it's not funny. It's not funny. Not funny. <laughs> I'd love to have a ride in a replica of Ecto-1. Hey, look, Hand Dog, if you, this is the guy to reach out to. If you go to Ecto-1 underscore NJ, mm -hmm. okay, on Instagram, and reach out to Nick there and, and uh, using the message feature, uh, you can have a discussion about how to make that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hit, you know, hit it up or uh, email <laughs> if we didn't give that out enough in the live yeah, stream. The last live stream. Is there any NJ at gmail.com. I think the Ecto Trip on here probably can remember the email from the last live stream. I'm just going to guess. If you can't remember, I'm going to be super cross. <laughs> Now, this is the hilarious thing. I was saying earlier that the badge of the firehouse has the ghost in it. <laughs> the badge is, of course, on the sidewalk. I completely forgot. This is what the actual official patch looks like. This is it. <laughs> I can't believe Ultra Trip. You can't remember the, the, the email. That's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. Where did I get the hat? Oh, so anyone watching want to call out what Easter egg this is? This is an Easter egg from the Ghostbusters series. And it's an Easter egg that relates to some information that's shared in Ghostbusters. And I'll give you a really, really strong hint. You can find out what this cap is if you listen to what Ray says when Phoebe calls him and, and tries to... what this is what this this cap is put it in the chat it's an easter egg it's an easter egg from for, related to ghostbusters afterlife so so first of all huge thank you to those of you that keep hanging out with me i know that this is a long stream and um, i get that you have lives <laughs> you have things that you want to do um but we're hanging on in the hope that we're going to see the car pull out of the firehouse um so that's like, i'm sorry the camera's shaking i'm cold <laughs> i've tried to hold it more steady i'm gonna change change arms here we go okay awesome has anyone got an idea of what it is <clears throat> i'm gonna give you a few minutes this is turning into the other live stream where we were asking questions but this is not an easy question this is a complicated one or a little bit harder you have to be deep deep in the law but just think about the conversation that Ray has with Phoebe and I'm going to give you a little hint what does he say what does he say that Venkman is doing okay we're going to go and look over here okay this is cool so I got the impression that Ian wasn't that excited about the jacket. I didn't, I didn't sense much excitement right then. Oh, we're all filmed. What's your name? James. James, are you shooting all three sides of the car? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey man, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey look, we're matching. 
Those of you talking about where Venkman does the work, um, it is related to where Venkman is working in Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's that's the, the, the thing about the. So you're going to see some work going on here. I'm sorry, I'm late. Come on, come on. <laughs> So I think what you're going to see is some very special decals here. <laughs> yes. So if anyone is on Instagram, run some red lights. There's a bunch of periods. That's Kip right there. He custom made these for Ian. Um, also made the logos for my company. So, I mean, there is no better quality than Kip's logos. So check it out. Is it run.sum.red.lights? Let's run some red lights with Don's Yeah, just yeah, check that out. And, uh, yeah, and I'll, absolutely the best. I had a squeegee. Did you grab that? When the live stream is over, I'll, uh, I'll put the link in the chat oh, so you guys can find it. So, yes, this, this, is, uh, this logo is, I'm going to just suggest, slightly different to Canon. <laughs> What's going on the car right now? What I should say is this is very cool logo here. This is the uh, the great logo created for the Ectotech, and this is um, his badge that he puts on the cars that he maintains. Here, the uh, the Ecto One NJ, beautiful, beautiful logo. Absolutely love it. Oh, is somebody asking me? Is someone asking me if there's a prize for for identifying? Uh, okay, Tom kind of gets it. Uh, yes, he is a professor emeritus at SUNY Cortland. This cap is for the Red Dragons from SUNY Cortland in New York. So it's actually their official uh, logo of their team, uh, the Red Dragons. And so, uh, yeah, well done. This is a SUNY Cortland hat. So I told you it was a pretty deep Easter egg for Ghostbusters, but it's a nice hat. I really like it. I wear it a lot. If you watch me in my videos, you see me wearing this hat an awful lot. Okay, just a subtle, subtle Ghostbusters Easter egg. Oh, okay. Jadel Gonzalez is saying, can you see my comments? I'm sorry, sir. What are you saying? Hello, I'm saying hello. Hello, I can. Can you see my comments? I can. <laughs> I can see your comments. I'm sorry that I haven't said that I can see them, but I can see them. And again, I apologize if anyone else has been trying to comment and I have not... Um, have not said hello to you. I'm just gonna roll back here. Uh, so, uh, Jars of James says, have you got the lights set to flash the correct way? Well, that's a good question. I'm, that's a question for the Ectotech. I believe so, but I don't want to, to say something wrong if somebody's a, more of an expert than me. Oh, Ectotrip already said SUNY Cortland. Sorry, Ectotrip, you said it as well. Um, lots of people saying stuff, yeah. Cool, apologies for me not commenting. I was a bit distracted with what was going on here. Um, David X is saying, how cold is it there? Um, let's see, I probably can only tell you, hang on a second, let's see. I can only tell you the temperature in British. <laughs> this is eight degrees Celsius. So it's not that cold, but it's very windy. So it's, it feels cold, uh, uh, yeah. And I've been holding my hand out holding this phone for, for 103 minutes. So um, I'm feeling a little chilly. It's just, it's just the truth here. Um, cool. Uh, okay. 
Can I say, I, Jadel, I said your name. Hopefully I said it correctly. Apologies if I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to think of more, but I'm close to being over here. I will keep pushing. Okay, here in New Jersey, it's like 60 degrees. Yeah, it's not actually that cold, uh, but it just feels really, really cold here. <laughs> um, melted marshmallows to warm up. Oh, that sounds good, a s'more right now. Some s'mores would be good right now, I think. Yes, thank you, I'll try and stay, try and stay warm. Okay, let me show you this updated logo that they put on the car for Ian. Look at this. This is I mean, come on. amazing. Come on. The likeness is perfect. Oh, look at this guy. It's so awesome. Hey. What do you call about an annoyance? <laughs> <laughs> and Ian is shooting this for the opening of um, uh, a show that he's doing. Um, so this is going to feature in that. And that's the reason that Ecto One is here in the city today. For this filming and again uh, if you're if you just arrived on the street some of you folks have been here for the whole time oh my gosh thank you so much for being so so loyal and staying all this time and uh hanging out with me and those of you that are new to the street what we're hoping to see in a second um is for this firehouse to see the the car pull out of the front just like in the movie that's what we're hoping is gonna happen uh and so uh yeah that's that's the plan that's what we're hoping to see happen in a second. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Evil Besso couldn't tell who that was. It doesn't look anything like Ian, does it? It doesn't look anything like him. Uh, yeah, it's really great work. And um, <clears throat> as, as um, Nick was saying, um, the, uh, the decals on the car were created by Let's Run Some Red Lights. Go check them out on Instagram. Um, really fantastic work. Um, the most accurate representation of the ori original 80s logos anywhere, anywhere around. Um, and those are all the decals that um, are used on the car that you, you're seeing behind me. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just absolutely fantastic work. So, so let's see how, let's see how things are going here. I'm amazed that I've actually found enough to say for the amount of time that I've been on this live stream. <laughs> and, and that some of you are still here to listen to this crazy stuff. So <clears throat> while we take this little hiatus of waiting for uh, the car to, to pull out of the firehouse, feel free to ask some more questions, Ghostbusters related questions, questions about the street in New York, questions about Hook and Ladder 8, I will do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I've got the best possible people around. I've got Nick and Greg here that can help answer them as well. So uh, yeah, just, just let me know if you've got questions for me. I appreciate all the hearts and all the love. Thank you. Thank you very much. And as I said before, if you love this kind of content, I don't only do Ghostbusters stuff on my channel too. I do all sorts of geekery. I'm a super geek. Um, I like prop making, prop building. Um, I recently on a video built a ghost trap. Um, I've built proton packs. I built a thumper from Dune. Um, I built a dinosaur from Jurassic World. Um, if you like that kind of geeky content and you like this kind of stuff to do with geeking out about awesome Ghostbusters stuff, I've said geek a lot, haven't I? Let's face it, Matt, a lot. I've said it a lot. But if you like that kind of stuff and you think you'd like to see more of it, please drop a sub. I would really appreciate it. Um, and um, you know, join us for the other stuff that we're planning to do in the future because there's loads more to come, especially this week because this is Premier Week. Premier Week for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And there is stuff going on this week and we are going to bring it to you. We're going <laughs> to cover it for you. So, uh, you know, join in, be part of it. We'll bring you along for the ride. People are asking some questions. Okay, my hat almost blew off. It blew off earlier. What's happening? Stuff's happening. There's shouting happening anyway. Um, David Nix, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Ryan Lewis, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Hound Shark Fitting says, I need a ghost trap and make an ecto containment grid. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a ghost trap building video. If you can get access to a, a spirit Halloween trap or similar, I think, I think Hound Shark Fishing, you said you're from the UK. Um, there's a video on how to mod one to make it look more like one from the movie. And I've actually even got one where I uh, 
<clears throat> show how to put smoke in it so it's actually smoking like when Ray pulls it out from catching Slimer in the Sedgwick Hotel. <clears throat> Um, yes, I did see Phoebe's uh, new exposed pack in the trail. That looks cool. Uh, that might be hard to create as a practical effect, but dang, that would be a cool thing to build. Uh, Jadil, thank you for subbing. I really, really appreciate it. And again, I hope I said your name correct. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Uh, Amelia, hi. Jadil, bye. <laughs> uh, where is the New York City premiere? So it's not far from the Lincoln Center, made famous in Ghostbusters by... Um, the conversation uh, that uh, Dana um, and uh, Venkman have um, about Zool, and he makes fun of uh, one of the people, <laughs> the conductor and, and other folks, um, but it's gonna be just a few blocks from there. That's where the uh, premiere is gonna be. Um, uh, Exotrip said, I believe I made a comment about, but hopefully we can figure out the compact thrower. Oh, the compact thrower. You did make a comment, and you heard it here first, <laughs> Exotrip. I am working on a compact thrower right now. Uh, so uh, that's going to be in a future video. I'm hoping to build, if you don't know what that is, the thrower that Janine Melnitz has on her hand. It's a compact thrower that just kind of fits here. Uh, that looks a little bit like a Neutrono wand, um, but it's but slightly different, but I'm already, I'm already working on it. So I'm swapping hands because this hand is shaking in the cold here. Uh, so cool. That is a brilliant comment about Zool. Awesome. Cool. All right. Oh, what else is going on? <laughs> Somebody's having way too much fun over there. Uh, okay, I'm curious why the cyclotron is exposed while the pack is on in the film. I am too. My, my guess is that it might have been grabbed from the lab in the movie. Um, and used quickly, so like maybe an unfinished pack or something that's, or she had to throw something together to fight. That's my thought. The one arm uh, was in some of the concept art, I think around uh, the original script for Ghostbusters, yes, if you're asking about that. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, uh, there is, um, uh, yeah, kind of a providence back to the original concept design and ideas of having a thrower on one hand, so yeah. Cool, okay, here we go. The car is still here. I think we're just waiting for the moment to be able to pull this out of here. So let me see, let me see what's happening, see if we can find out any news. So what's the news, Nick? Are we going to be able to pull it out of here, or are we waiting on the firehouse? You know, I honestly, I don't even know. I'm just kind of standing waiting. So whenever they <laughs> tell me they want me to pull it from the apron, I'm going to do it. Now, I think they have their blessing. We're not running the siren, so, like, they won't even know Whoa, what we're doing. No, I'm going to make sure that I don't run that red light uh, like I did on Ghostbusters Day. But it's going to be cool because... He didn't do that. Uh, nah, nah, nah. nah. That. You know what, though? Uh, I don't know if you can record at the same time, but I'm going to need you on that corner recording coming out of here and then edit it better than I did to, to match it up. And I want to do the three. I want to do the movie when I did it from the day and then this oh, one. Oh, you know? I see. I see. Oh, well, we have some in New York's finest. I hope they don't give us a hard time. Well, oh, they're heading off. I think they've got something else to do. Yeah, well... God, those are fucking hilarious. Okay. So we're hoping it's going to happen, guys. We're hoping it's going to happen. So you're not a New York based guy. Just reading the comments here again. It may not be an important location, but AMC Lincoln Square. I think it probably might be there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's where it might be. Yes, um, I'm pretty sure that's what, where it where it might be. Um, you can see uh, Tower One at World Trade up there as well. Um, and again, you see that in the trailer as the clouds are coming in. Um, will I be able to drive it? Um, I have sat in it. I've driven it a little. But I'm not, I don't usually drive the car. I leave that to the experts. I leave it to Nick and to, to, to Greg to drive the car. But um, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's very exciting to, to stand next to it and imagine driving this. Well, I don't need to imagine driving it through the streets of New York because I have, <laughs> have driven it, not the, the steering wheel, but certainly in the front. <clears throat> it's a, it is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. And beautifully uh, put together. Um, Slightly unoriginal uh, decals at this moment, but you know, they're here for what we need to do. 
Oh, here comes the uh, here comes the fire truck, folks. No, you don't. <laughs> Um, it's Ian, he's doing some filming for, he's a, a comedian. So, yeah. Somebody just asking me on the street what's going on, which is fair, when you see the car and then you don't see the, uh, the normal logo on it. <laughs> Man, you did such a good job with those, they look fantastic. <laughs> I would consider better versions, but he had his buddy do these, and I think in the long run they're just so awful that they work better. Right, I got I've you. I've admitted that they work better. <laughs> All sorry, right. Sorry, friend, if you're Ian's friend and you're watching, <laughs> who did the artwork. All right, we're going to capture this. This is happening now. This is the moment. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to come over here and hold the camera still when it happens. <clears throat> okay. You got that, Matt? I'm on it, man. Hang on. Let me frame up. I know we're tight. This is the moment, folks. This is what we've all been waiting for. I know there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> I've never seen this street this busy <laughs> You know, I had a double take there. I was like, wait, why are you not driving the car? <laughs> I realized that obviously <laughs> Greg is in there. <laughs> uh, well, that's, how, that's how it goes filming with Greg, I'm afraid. That's, that's been my experience. <laughs> You get, did you get it? Did you get the shot? Okay, we'll do it again. Last time, last time we came out here filming for the trailer for uh, Ghost Tours, uh, Nick, Nick uh, Greg was calling action before I was ready. I'm like, Greg, I, I need to call action. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I pulled it out one shot on Ghost Tours today. You did. Okay, I had one shot. You did. And I took it. You did. No. You did. Woo! Man, these. Bike. No disrespect to anyone who likes driving, riding the bike. I like it, but those electric you know bikes you, are scary I because they're so fast. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they're all got the Frozen Empire hats now. We were talking about these earlier. My goodness, sorry. Yeah. Bikers gave me such a hard time on those. Like no joke. When I went to go up to Central Park West, I pulled along right side the bike lane. They were like, "You can't park here." I'm like, "Bro, see, calm down." <laughs> Somebody said that this the shot from that is now their background on their phone. Oh, we're we're going to get an even better one now. The one's creative is all. Yeah. I think Greg might have just got too excited. And, you know, oh, really? Oh, oh, he did. He did. I'm uh, thinking... Um, I mean, I you could get them to drop you the shot. I'm sure uh, they'd give you the shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is this the best spot? It is, yeah. What we're going to be attempting? Yeah. What are you guys Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's, also the yeah. it's worth waiting for. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yes, this crew at night. They're fine. Well, you saw it, folks. The car pulling out of the firehouse, and apparently, I mean, that's a we're going to do it again because we didn't get a chance to call action the last time. <laughs> oh, I just realised my hair is still sticking out of my hat from when it blew off earlier. We are literally standing in the street here. I mean, we're, we're safe. We're in this, this area, but um, yeah, there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> I'm gonna get one from here. I might actually get one from there and go all the way around and track Ian's face. What are you shooting on? Good for the logo. Oh, you're shooting on a Black Magic? Sure. I have a Black Magic. I love them. They're great. They're like, you know, the industry does not want us to use them, 
because they're too inexpensive. They're, they're amazing. I shoot every <laughs> single comedy special I make on Black Magic. Really? They're just so, like, yeah. they do everything like an Alexa can do. Right. Um, and for something like this where you just got to be nimble, it's yeah, perfect. It's quick. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. It's like, you know, you throw it on a, you throw it on a gimbal, it weighs nothing. Yep. Like, it's, you know, an open box camera. Yeah, yeah. Just, just these bad boys. Yeah, I have four of them right now. I want to get the, this is the Pro, but I want to get, they came out with a legitimate full-frame cinema, which is like. Wow, like, that's amazing. I'm so pumped. Uh, I've held one once, and it's like, I don't like the aspect ratio on it at full. Right. No, no, you can't. You cannot. This is not a quick lap, like I was It takes a while to come back, the traffic like it is. Yeah. Right, people on the live are asking, is this the real firehouse? It really is the real firehouse, folks. <laughs> we are in New York City. I'm also worried about the firefighters. They're out right now, aren't they? Yeah, they've gone now. Well, this has been a two-hour live stream. <laughs> this is, I've, I've got very little battery left, but <laughs> folks are hanging in there yeah. for this moment. They've been hanging in there for this moment. And it's funny because I, I promised you folks when you joined, if there's anyone that's still here from the original beginning, that Nick was going to be here any moment with the car, and it took 45 minutes for the car to arrive. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be late. Sometimes it does. Sometimes and people were like ready for it. They were like hyped up. So you know, it was daylight. That's good. Oh it's good. Yeah. Come on. Cool. Turn those awesome. On. Fake a ghost. Oh, okay. All things, things and stuff set up. Just arrived. And what is going to happen? What is going to happen is we are at the firehouse. We're going to pull the eggs up. We're at the firehouse, just like in Ghostbusters 1984. And it's going to be awesome. That's basically the high headlight. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That is what's going to happen. Um, so, you, Jonathan, you maybe could have made it for Jersey. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, if you want to try making it, come, come. I, I'm sorry I, that I even discouraged you from coming. Just, just come. And, um, yeah, let's see. <laughs> People were like, I'm going to try and come down. I'm going to try and come down and see it. And, I'm like, and I was like, well, we've gone in a second. And then, and then we've been here for another half an hour. We've got maybe 20 minutes. There we go. You heard it from the horse's mouth here. Hurry up. From the horse's mouth. Okay. These are the guys in charge. They're doing the filming. So they know they've got the show. Jadil is back. Yes, hello. Hello. And Evil Bear is saying that he switched on the PC to show my lady this stream and now she's regretting dating a nerd. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair. You know, this is how it goes. Be honest about who you are and then everything will be fine for the future. That's all I'm going to... I mean, not that I should be giving dating advice to anybody, but I'm just saying. And I just realised you So I'm not sure where where Ian and Greg have gone. I'm thinking that what might have happened is that Ian may have pushed Greg out of the car and has just taken it. That's what I'm thinking. It's probably happened, right, guys? Yeah, check. I think that's check highly Williams likely. Work for the car. I think it's Ian highly likely. Us. Yeah, <laughs> it's never coming back. <laughs> yeah, when we were here shooting the trailer for Ghost Tours. Um, sometimes getting the car back into first positions, for want of a better term, was challenging because of traffic. And there isn't a lot of traffic here. There's not usually this much traffic here, particularly on a Monday night at nine in the evening. I don't know where everyone thinks they're going this evening. You know, maybe everyone's just out later because the clocks went back. But we'll, we'll see. So yeah, yeah. Oh, Evil Bear said something is going on on the 13th floor of the Sedgwick Hotel. That's probably where they are. That's what's happening. Let's see. No. No. 
So I'm going to now ask her, uh, because I, I love filmmaking, I'm going to ask a technical question sure, for this, yeah. this gentleman here. So how are you finding exposing the sign? And the car? Um, it's very over. It's very <laughs> over. Um, so I'm using a Blackmagic 6K Pro right now, uh, which is great. If you don't put it at, if you put it under 1250 ISO, you can dial it back all the way to 400 without green. So I'm gonna keep it below 1250, uh, but I'm at 2.8, so I'm letting tons of light on. Um, and it'll be nice, I can clean it up in post, it'll be fine. But it looks good, I mean, the, the image is good, even under, I wish I could dial it up a tinge. Do you mind if I show them? No, yeah, yeah go ahead. This is a shot, it's beautiful. So that's the framing. So um, anything in red is overexposed. We're, the only thing that's hitting red are the actual lamps underneath the uh, firehouse there. And as I'm streaming on YouTube, everything on my shot is overexposed. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> but as you can see, we're in we're in the gray, so we're good. Um, and then, yeah, when the lights come on, they might be overexposed a little bit, but it still looks good. Well, I hope it looks good. It, it looks good to me. It looks I good to me. Them, so, yeah. But yeah, and those of you that are not camera folks, really, the question and the answer is all around the fact that the sign is really light and the ambient light on the street is much lower than that. So trying to get the right settings on the camera to ensure that everything looks perfect is challenging under such conditions. Very but it's a beautiful camera, so it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna work well. That's the great thing about shooting it right and then knowing what to do in post. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> often if you overexpose, you can bring it back. But underexpose, you can bring it back up. So yeah. No loss of information if it's underexposed. Generally. There's some little tools sometimes that try, but they don't do a very good job. If it's not on the original footage, then we're going to get it. Again, especially if it's on. The guy is doing incredible yeah. stuff. Topaz is a program I use. Um, it's nice. Oh, it did? Oh, yeah, it's coming. All right, coming awesome. Right, Brilliant. Nick finally yeah, made it. Where you guys look like pros. Yeah, <laughs> or shooting, I'm, uh, or shooting I'm just a ninja guy. guy. Hey, well, we're all, we're all just some guys. guys. Yeah, yeah. He's doing the filming. I'm live streaming, and uh, this you? is a gentleman on the street. Hello, gentleman on the street. Ladies and gentlemen, take your pictures now. We gotta clear the way, please. Clear the way, please. Clear the way. Clear the way. Thank you, guys. Clear the corner. You can, if you come back here, you can yeah, film something awesome. Guys in the corner, if you come to this side of the street, please. We gotta film. And we gotta do it quick. This guy knows what he's doing. Organizing the New Yorkers on the street here. <laughs> All right, we got... You can come stand with us, guys. Yeah, come, on, come on to this side. Come over here. Come on to this side. Come join us. Come join us, this, guys. This guy, too. We, we got to get him out of the shot. We got one chance because the street's clean. All right, here we go. This is it, folks. Hustle, hustle now. Come on over, folks. Come join us. Please, thank you very much. Behind the camera. Guys, come this way, please. We, we're filming. Not over there. Over here. Oh, okay, Thank they're just so walking. Much. Okay. Good crowd control, sir. Truck is back! Truck is back! Truck is back! Okay, I guess... Around in the corner. All right, we've got to do it now, then. <laughs> All right. It's seven. Oh, is it seven? That was seven. Okay, we're good. All right, we still have... We still have time. Hang on. Front. Waiting for this light to go gone. green here. Yeah, that's fine. We're not doing a Pete Venkman. We're not running any red lights tonight. Oh yeah. You can go. Go, 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 go. They're walking off, yeah. It's back. Okay, this is the moment. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Wow, look at that for timing. <laughs> wow. Just in time for the fire truck to come back. <laughs> How'd it work out? Was it good? You need it. It's all right, yeah. You always want two, that's the thing, right? <laughs> Oops, How sorry. was that? Nice. Yeah? I mean, it's a simple shot. Yeah. 
gonna have to speed that up. And the I mean, thing is, that guy's gonna look like he's walking 100 miles an hour. Like, yeah. One more. Yeah, we. Uh, Are they good with that? I mean, when yeah. they when they shot it, they sped it up anyway. So. Hey, hey, hey! Not everyone knows. When that, we did it, in, when not we, everyone knows. When that. we did the shot. <laughs> Can't you just AI that guy out of the video? Yeah, right. I probably could. You, do you use DaVinci Resolve? Uh, I need to. I need to learn it, dude. Because it has Premier. it has great removal Rotos, stuff on it. And yeah. uh, I know After Effects. The person removing, you just put one strike. I've seen. It's amazing. I've seen all the demos on YouTube of it. It's so good. You got to go, man. Once it's you go, you, too, you won't. You won't turn back I know after. I, won't. I, know I, won't. I was the same. We're, again, we're geeking out now on the <laughs> on filming. Everyone's here for Ghostbusters, and we're like, let's talk about no, filming. No, no, <laughs> I'm a premiere boy. I need. To, I need to get on because it's Black Magic. Oh, Black Magic is great. It's Black Magic. It's so great. It like, talks to itself. It's, it's great. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Somebody's asking, where is the siren? Well, uh, we got a complaint, a sound complaint that somebody was putting their child to sleep. And, and as, as parents here, we understand uh, this yes, challenge. Yes, as someone who has two small um, children, I, I respect that. And just so you guys know, in the movie, when the car came out, it was double. You know, a little fun fact. So the siren on top of the car, we don't actually play that. It's it's a audio file underneath. The siren, if I played it for you, you are like, this is the ecto. They actually, in post-production, played it backwards. And that's the ecto siren that you know and love. There you go. That's a fact for you. Yes. That's a fact for you. And actually, when we went to the filming of Frozen Empire, we were out here on the street, and we sent, put some of the coverage out, a couple of people commented and said, oh, that sucks. They're not, you know, why are they not playing, playing the siren and stuff? Well, they never do when they're filming because they always put that stuff on after the filming has happened. And again, for the very reason that we've just discovered here, um, yeah. you don't want to dis you know, you're already disturbing the city enough with, with, with all it, the filming. It is not a quiet <laughs> siren. Like, it's I so love my car, it's but so fucking it is a loud, loud siren. Constantly, like, listening to it, it is loud. Super loud, super loud. Cool, no siren, no siren, sorry. Okay, cool. Well, folks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it for now. Thank you for joining the stream. It's been fun to be here with you. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and sub. Um, it's been great to have you. Thank you for holding out to the, the bitter end here. Um, and um, it's been so cool to, to have you here. Thank you for joining. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for commenting. And um, we're gonna do more of this stuff this week because this is Ghostbusters week. This is the premiere of Frozen Empire in New York City this week. So we'll be back multiple times. So if you want to be notified when we start live streaming, just drop a sub. And in the meantime, when the stream ends, there's plenty more Ghostbusters content on my channel. So you can check out us here at the filming of Frozen Empire on the streets of New York. You can check out how to build a trap. You can check out me taking my first ever trip in the Ecto that you just saw, driving around the city and looking like a child that couldn't control his excitement. So, hey, uh, check out. Thank you. Oh, and there goes my hat. You see, I told you my hat was gonna blow away. <laughs> this is the second time today that my hat, <laughs> that my hat is gone. Second time, second time. Like a double so if you wanted any evidence of how cold and windy, <laughs> how cold and windy it is out here, uh, yeah, yeah, and that's probably why you couldn't couldn't hear me because how windy is. Hang on, let me go over here to end this because <laughs> because it is super windy on this corner. Okay, let's try again. Anyway, what I was trying to say was thank you for joining. Um, there's plenty more content um, on our channel, so please sub and please take a look at that. And um, if you subscribe and hit that little notify bell, it will let you know when we're next live streaming. Oh yeah, Evil Bearer Ghost probably did take it, you're right. <laughs> it was the death chill coming at me on the street. <laughs> All right, thank you folks. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been a pleasure spending time with you guys. And we'll see you soon. See you next time. This is Matt from Experience Explorers. Signing out. And I've got to find the off button. <laughs>